All right, everybody, uh, I want you to meet a local speaker, an author, a stand-up comic, an extraordinary woman, Marty McGibbon. She's the author of the new book, Never Give In to Fear, laughing all the way up from rock bottom. Good to have you on this morning. Thank and when you, you say laughing all the way up from the <laughs> rock bottom, sister, you, <laughs> and I want you guys to understand just what, what you've been through. I mean, it was um, obviously life-changing, but how... Uh, how much on that rock bottom were you? I, all, all the way. Mm -hmm. um, I was a victim of human trafficking in Japan at the very lowest point. And, uh, wow. Yeah, and I uh, uh, brutalized and threatened mm -hmm. with death terrified for my life and uh, completely under the control of organized crime figures and instead of panicking right. I knew that I had to do something uh, to, to keep my sanity right so I told myself I am getting out of here yeah and and I made up my mind that I was going to just visualize getting home by Christmas, getting home to my folks at Christmas. And I began to just visualize that and I clung to that reality no matter what the outward circumstances. And mm -hmm. after a time, the ideal person appeared who helped me. Wow. And I was home on Christmas Eve with my folks. Unbelievable. And I think that, I mean, to have experienced what you went through and then to still manage to uh, reach the level that you're at now, uh, a, a, a happy person, a successful person, um, you know, I, I think that's got to be inspirational for anybody who reads your book or anybody who knows you. Is that something that's got to make you feel good to be able to share that? Be like, hey, look, you can be <laughs> rock bottom, right. but you don't have to stay there, right? It's, right, you know, right. Personal choices. Yes, yes, and I can tell people that. You know, I can say, hey, it doesn't matter how low your low point, mm -hmm. you can change it. And the opportunity is there. Everything can change in a moment. Mm -hmm. And that moment is always within you. And once, you, once that moment crystallizes and you get your epiphany and you have the willingness to change and you have the hope, mm -hmm. then all your destiny and your happiness just builds from that moment. I've had 17 years of happiness that have come from the moment that I had, and I know that it's possible that anyone can change anything. And who's the gentleman standing next to you there in the picture? Oh, that's my husband. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's my knight in shining armor. I met him when I was homeless. After I got back from Japan, I was completely traumatized. And um, living on the street. They didn't even have homeless shelters back then. And oh I carried God. every single thing I had in a backpack, just essentials for survival. And uh -huh. I slept in an abandoned house and I was working for 20 bucks a day, chopping firewood and hitchhiking back and forth to work. And I had one non-essential item in that backpack and it was a pair of fancy black high-heeled dancing shoes. Cause I yeah, thought, girl. you know what? Someday <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. And that was my <laughs> symbol of hope. And one night, coming back from work it was really dark and foggy and I was really really scared and I saw this vehicle approaching and I kind of threw myself out in front of the headlights and this good-looking guy <laughs> pulled up and he, he gave me a ride and he was so nice and everything and not only did we go dancing uh -huh. But he's my husband now, and we've been together 25 years. <laughs> what a fabulous story. And it is, though, I mean, even though it's a very heavy subject matter, <laughs> you do manage to tell the story with a certain amount of uh, lightness. Yeah, oh, definitely. I'm a stand-up comic, so there's a sense of humor all the way through the book. And it's the idea, I wanted to tell the story because I want people to know that anything can happen, and there's always good in any situation, no matter how it may seem, there's mm -hmm. always human kindness, there's always hope, there's always the po potential for everything to turn around. Fabulous, and if people want to get a copy of this book, where can they go to do that? Uh, you can call 1-800-BOOKLOG. Okay. Or you can go to my website, www.nevergiveintofear.com, and I have a couple links there. So it's, it's everywhere. It's <laughs> That's what I like to it's hear. It's everywhere. And I'm going all to right. Do, yeah. We're going to put all that information on IndieStyle.tv. Thank Great you. Great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for coming in. You have to come back by sometime.